Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel for another review. This time I have here Ancient Monsters uh, movie series. Not really a crazy official title. This figure is LS11, which would be from the Black Mamba series. But then on the side here it says it's uh, movie series AM01, which is in this AOE mech. I don't know. But. There's the box. Um, as you see, you have a big cool picture of the Spinosaurus mode. Oh, and this figure is a, a third party upscale version of Scorn from Transformers Asia Extinction. And like I said, it is an upscale version, so I believe it was the one they released. It's not the original Scorn figure that came out, the original Voyager. It was the second version of the Voyager figure, which was, I believe, it came out with the last Night Wave. But it is an upscale version of that figure and that was a good looking figure so they decided to make it bigger give it a nice little paint job and we got this figure um, and it is awesome so hopefully even though it's not looking like it but hopefully we got a nice decent Grimlock we got a decent Scorn why can't we get the other two Dinobots we need two more come on let's get some good figures made so tell me what you guys think about that alright moving right along Taking a look at this side box as I just showed you. It says movie series AM1. It says ancient monsters on this side. And as you see, it's a giant box. Uh, has the title and everything on the top. And on the back, you see him in his robot mode. You see him in his dino mode. So pretty simple. And that's pretty much it for the box. All right, and bringing the figure in himself. Here he is. And... He looks freaking awesome. So as you can see here, he's a giant Spinosaurus. Just looking at the detail here, has some nice spiky teeth here. And the paint just has a nice like sheen, like it picks up the light very well. You get to see all the details. You have the three spikes here, uh, rows of spikes, which are rubber. Uh, he does come packaged in his robot mode. So this back spike here is usually kind of flipped over and tucked in, so it's a little bent. But you know, take a, uh, a blow dryer or something to it, it's kind of flexing. So I'm still working on mine, but it's a lot better than what it was before. As you can see there. Looking at his tail here. Nice and spiky. Got a little bit of movement here. And yeah, awesome looking figure. And taking a look at the feet here. Big beefy legs. And yeah. And this figure is nicely articulated. As you see his mouth does open very wide. Which is really cool. Head could turn side to side here on a nice stiff joint. Can move up and down. So very nice head articulation. Uh, he can also spin very nice head articulation here uh, his claws here can move down have a little wrist articulation here his arms are on the wall joint so he can move around really nicely um, and then his legs are the robot mode legs so I'll show you more of that in robot mode but just see they do they can rotate the hips here at a ratchet which is really nicely had a uh, nice knee joint and his toes actually are articulated, which is really cool. And as you've seen, the tail does move. So nice range of motion here. And then his spikes does move, so you can move those however you want to make those uh, to your liking. And he also does spin at the, um, the base of the tail here. Okay, so I did move the camera back a little bit because I'm moving on to my size comparison and the main one I want to show you will be this one right now. So I'm going to move him kind of back here. There you go. Then I'm going to bring this guy in. My uh, nice Grimlock here. Bring him down a little bit. There you go. And there they both are. And as you can see, they are both giants. They're huge. And I love it. 
So I would love to get the other two Dinobots because I would just like to have a complete decent sized set like this. Um, and I do have the, uh, the Black Mamba Grimlock. I don't have the other Grimlock that came out, which I do like the details and everything um, and how it transformed is really nice. I just wish if it was a little bit bigger, like this scale, then I'll definitely get it. But this is the scale I'm, go for, I'm going for. So I stuck with this guy. And just to be silly here, I'm bringing this little Human Alliance uh, figure here. You see how how massive these figures are, so yeah. And here's Bumblebee. All right, so quick feature I did want to go over really quick um, was his light up feature and his dinosaur mode yes his eyes does light up and the button is, is inside his mouth now you look way in the top of there so I can even get the light in there it's really way in there uh, give me just one second got a light here so if you can see this there you are. So yeah, see that little white button up in there? It's way back there. And then to push it, just need to get something to actually get in there to push it. All right, see, now you see a little glow back there. And now his eyes are lit up. And then turn off the lights to show you really quick. So not super bright, but it's still cool that they light up. Time for the main event, which is the transformation. So first thing you can do is go ahead, straighten out the legs, and bring them out, bring on this panel here. Just gonna rotate them all the way back like that. Just straighten out completely, just like that. Do the same on the other side. And bring them out, bring on that panel there. We'll take the legs all the way back, straighten the knee out, and then there's that for you. And then since we're right here, I'm just going to go ahead and flip down this little side piece here, a little extra detail here. Same on this side, you know, take this piece and then flip it down. You take this little side panel here, this little uh, port here is going to plug in up there. That little tab that's right here. Bring that up, bring the fin straight up in right in here just like that same thing on this side bring the fence straight up just a little panel put it in on the side just like that go ahead and take the arm here put that straight down these little side pieces here peg into this piece here so you go ahead and pull these out. And as you can see, there's a, a post right here, a couple of posts and some ports here that those plug into on either side. Go ahead and do both sides here. Take this piece here, turn it 180, just like that. And as you hear, it's a really loud ratchet. Let me take these side panels here come up to this section here undo them on both sides just like that now you're gonna come up to the dino head you're gonna lift up this whole section here just like that go ahead and peg this section here I got the legs I kind of like hold it upside down that way the legs are completely spread it out this is the upper section here. This is the section with the tail. I'm gonna unpack this section with the tail. Freeze up this, and now I got this whole centerpiece that rotates. Need to have the legs split apart and this tail section out the way to get clearance for this to come back. So this comes up. You're gonna take the head here. I'm gonna flip it out. There you go, rotate the head all the way out. You're gonna take the dino head and that's gonna flip all the way in. 
And that's another reason why you want to have this all the way back to have a clearance for the snout of the dinosaur mouth to go in. All right, next, once you have the dinosaur head in, you can bring this whole section back up and it should fit nicely. It's a cutout behind the head here where the spikes fit in, fit nicely right there. You're gonna take these side panels. It is a tab right here. And then this little port here, you can see it on this side right here, this little seat, plugs into that tab. So I'm gonna plug these back. that clip there same thing on this side Come on. all right then I plugged in all right so now both of those are plugged in you take the two leg sections spread apart and then you should be able to bring these all the way up like this and they would be in the middle and plug in and now I should be able to turn this around and have it stand it's kind of doing the, uh, the smooth criminal right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the legs so got the feet here the dinosaur feet okay these are the robot mode feet all you gotta do is just take this section bring down bring up the heel and then rotate the leg around. Just like that. Take the heel again of the dinosaur foot. Bring it up to complete the knee pad. Take the dinosaur toes, foot up against the back of the leg. Same thing on the other side. Push up the heel. There's that. Push up the heel again. There you go, toes behind the leg. And now we got our legs completed. Now, so this is the bottom of the dinosaur. This was the back. Here's the front section with the arms. Here's the tail section. I'm gonna take this whole section here. I'm trying to get the tail out of the way. I'm gonna rotate it. Oh, there's a lot going on here. There we go. Can't rotate it because the cup section is put back together. So now we need to split that. There you go. I can bring this back together. Okay. So now we got the chest here. Okay. So now what we need to do is. Fun fact, by the way, the big toe here on the dinosaur, so big little post here, this actually locks into that, so it kind of holds the leg in a place. All right, next, what we need to do is, man, it's so dark in here. Okay, that should be a little better. But if you can see, it's a little channel here, and it's a little section right in here. There you go. And we need to do is just shift this up. That's a little notch right there. This little part just rotates down. So you take it, take the arm here, shift it up to click some place. That way you have the arm in the proper orientation. And then you got a tab here that goes to this slot right here. So just line this up, push that in, and that's in this one arm. Now Got the same thing on this side. So take that, shift it up. There you go. And push this in. Just like that. Okay. Almost there. And now just the last little adjustments. Take this arm forward, adjust this little whip arm. Take these arms, adjust them how you see fit. Take your 
adjust these little fins, this middle fin, however you want. I like to just keep it straight, to be honest. And here you have him in his robot mode, and as you can see, he was a lot of work. He was a lot of, he was interesting, um, but that's to be expected with the bigger transformers. Um, but the end result is amazing. Once again, the paint job is impeccable. It is really awesome. Uh, he does have a die cast chest plate here, which is really cool. And yeah, taking a little 360 look at him here. See how it kind of comes together. Got the spikes in the back. See how the legs kind of folds up. Oh, it folds up. Uh, folds up really nicely. See, you kind of have the whip arm here. He does have the uh, night boots. And yeah, I mean, the only problem I really have with this figure is that his feet are on ball joints, but the ball joints are, uh, how do I explain it? They're on the sides here. It's not like a ball joint going down to the foot. It's actually uh, going to the side. So sometimes they're a little loose, but I'm pretty sure I can fix that. So yeah, uh, looks really good. Like I said, I would love to have the rest of the Dinobots to have a full set, because I believe they look awesome together. Uh, let me see, he has the, uh, the little whip arm here. Um, which that comes up really nicely. Kinda can wrap that around his uh, shoulder if he wanna do something along in that lines, which looks really cool. Getting ready for a whip attack. Oh, and I guess that my hips are a little loose too. Um, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, and there's those ball joints I was talking about right there. Oh, man, no figure is perfect, that's for sure. No matter how nice it looks. Got the articulated fingers here. They all have one um, hinge each, which is really cool. Um, he has like a, a little inner elbow, uh, elbow joint here. Has a rotation at the arm, go out in and out. Um, same thing on this side, has a ratchet. Slide it through, kick forward. Can't really kick back because of the backpack here. Um, but he does have the, the bends and everything. Keep, be careful with the bend and knees though because of the dinosaur toes back here. Um, so yeah, like I said, his feet is on a ball joint. So pretty articulated figure. All right, so I'll put the camera back again uh, so I can do my size comparison. And here he is with Grimlock. And as you can see, uh, they're roughly the same height, but Scorn is a little bit bigger than Grimlock um, at the top of the head. Well, I guess Grimlock would be taller because of the crest, but I mean, like, you know, from here to the top of his head, He's a little bit bigger than Grimlock, which is how it's supposed to be because he actually is uh, taller. He's the biggest Dinobot out of the, uh, the four. So uh, pretty good scaling, actually. They look awesome together. So where's the other two at? You know, I'm putting it out there in the third party companies. Let's get the other two going. You know, that'd be really cool. Really big, cool set to, uh, to have. So just saying. But yeah, they look really cool together. And while I've got them both here, uh, I'm going to show off his light up feature because you already know his eyes light up from my previous review of him. So I'm going to show his light up feature because his eyes is light up and we can see how they both look. So let's check that out. And he does just have a button back of his head. And then he has a button in the back of his head. Okay, so you can clearly see Grimlocks. Uh, I'm guessing the batteries died, or they're really low. But his eyes do light up, and they light up pretty bright. So I need to change the batteries on that. But his eyes do light up. And once again, just to be funny, here's a little Human Alliance figure here. <laughs> That's crazy. So there's that comparison for you.
All right, so that pretty much wraps up this uh, review here. Um, my final thoughts, I really do like this figure regardless of how the transformation is um, and some of the minor problems it does have, like those are easy fix. So I really do like this figure and I really do highly recommend this figure. Um, it is a little bit older, so it'll be a little bit harder to find. Um, might be a little bit more expensive, um, but if you can find this guy, definitely pick him up. If you really like the Dino Box from the movie, or you enjoy the movie, like the movie designs and stuff like that, um, definitely go for this guy to complete for your uh, your masterpiece like type of collection. So uh, the scale isn't a hundred percent accurate, obviously, but you know it's nice to have giant Dino Box to actually add to your collection. So if you like this video, subscribe, give it a like, and as always, feel free to comment. Check out some of my other videos, some of my other reviews, and stay tuned for future videos. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, and thank you.